have always been loyal when the ideals of American democracy have been attacked. We have given our blood in its descent from Christmas Abbott on Boston Common to the battlefields of France. We have fought for the democratic principles of equality under the law, equality of opportunity, equality at the ballot box, for the guarantees of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Working at the Navy Yard made me feel patriotic that I did something to help the cause. We were doing something to help the boys, and it just made you feel special. When I worked at Eastern Aircraft, we worked the swing shift. If you worked the second or third shift, you slept most of the daylight hours. If you worked the first shift on weekends, there was something called, there was the USO. It was a black USO here in South Philadelphia. I think it was around Broad Street. And we used to go there when the boys would come in from the camps, give them treats and talk, dance. I was home by 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and had to get up at 6 and go to work. I uh, met my husband at church. Bob was always a dancer, and I had to learn from him and we used to go to USO on the weekends to dance. Lots of servicemen were there. They wanted uh, young ladies to come because some of the servicemen were alone. The same thing that black women did, again, perfected in World War I, they used in World War II to show their patriotism, all right? To volunteer, to give blood, to work with the Red Cross, to create, to, to buy these bonds. It was a community coming together. We had the Victory Garden, we bought war stamps. We had uh, rationing books and we were careful how we spent our books. Yeah, we did all the patriotic things, but nobody in my family actually wanted to go overseas and serve on the front line. The country has asked the people to invest a billion dollars in one month to help pay for the war. And one of the most convenient ways and patriotic way was to take the war bonds. And I felt very strong about that. I saved those war bonds, and believe it or not, it was those war bonds that helped me and my husband to, to buy our first home. So it was patriotism and saving also. My family was patriotic. I remember one time my, my uh, soldier came to the house and he said to the dorm, Mama, cook and fed him. He was a white soldier. Washington, capital of the United States, now the focal point of the free world of tomorrow. Here, American history lives in monuments to heroes who preserved our freedom. Here again, the battle for liberty is centered. Washington was deeply segregated. A black person could not go downtown and use any of the restaurants, the restaurants or e even the toilets and other facilities. And it was so segregated that you had the feeling that you were in a foreign country. If we bought clothes downtown, if the, in the stores that would, they would wait on us, we couldn't try on anything. They had a people's drug store across the road from where we worked. And uh, at lunchtime, we had to stand at the end of the counter and the waitresses would wait on us in between, waiting on the others and we would finally get our order, which we had to take out. We could not sit and eat. And uh, therefore, I never ate at people's any other time. That was enough for me. The whole issue of segregation was so real, even then, that uh, many times there were different treatments for black women and other women of color. 
It may seem puzzling that black women would be patriotic in the context of a racially segregated society in which so much blatant discrimination was occurring. The Double Victory campaign was the answer to this dilemma. Double Victory stood for victory against racism at home, victory against fascism abroad. The two were intertwined. It was a consciousness raising um, movement that really laid the foundation in, in black people's minds that we have to fight for our rights. This is something that we have to do for ourselves. I feel like America belonged to me too.